Hi, Monster High fans. Have you guys seen the brand new students from Monster High? And this one in particular, EC Dawn Dancer? She's the daughter of a deer spirit, and she's one of three new exchange students going to Monster High. I was saying I see Dawn Dancer until I saw the new Monster High webisode that was called From Fear to There, Part 1, about the three new exchange students, and so now I know it's EC Dawn Dancer. She is truly, truly unique and cute, and there's her artwork, so clearly she is meant to look like a, a deer or a, or a doe or fawn. And what's the difference? Oh, a fawn, a fawn is a baby deer, right? Anyway, um, yeah, I sound really ignorant. <laughs> she has uh, an interesting style. It's um, very southwestern, kind of Native American tribal looking. And here you see I'm cutting her out of her box. Super, super excited. She apparently, according to the webisode, has uh, this ability to see the future. She gets visions. Oops, I better um, take it all out with both hands. You know, on mine, I noticed that the three things pinning her head, one of them is broken. Also, her hair is divided into two, par two parts, just to warn you guys, so you have to remove the rubber bands on both parts. It's really early in the morning here, which is appropriate since she's a dawn dancer. And she comes with a comb and a stand and this diary here. And all the Monster High diaries warn you not to go through them. And of course, I always go through them first thing. Uh, the script that they use in EC Dawn Dancer's diary is, well, is very flowing, so it can be a little bit hard to read. But uh, this whole thing is just about her dancing. She seems to dance at the drop of a hat and her making a decision about whether to go to Monster High. She actually meets a Monster High student during uh, this diary, and it's Twyla Boogeyman. And through hanging out with Twyla, she decides to go to Monster High. We also learn from her diary that Twyla and Gilda Goldstag are her two BFFs. And here she is in all of her radiance, glory, magnificence. I really, really like this doll. EC is so unique. I mean, look at this, this beautiful hair. Um, the color is just this magnificent turquoise. It's all one shade. It's very soft, it's very long and thick, and there's no gel in it. And, you know, she's, she's a deer, so she's got the two deer ears, and in one of them, she has an earring, and the other one, she just has a hole. Um, she has a headband, and uh, she's got antlers on her headband, which I thought were really cool. Although I thought only male deer had antlers, and she's a female deer. Um, she's also wearing a dream catcher on her headband, which gives me an idea for her bed, which I'm excited to make, and a triangular earring in the right ear. And her eyes, they're the definition of doe eyes, right? Because she is a doe. Big, soulful, brown. And I love this profile of her. It's very cute. I like how they've painted her face to resemble a deer, so the little white freckles. I love her lips. I mean, they really did a great job on this doll. I really like the yellow necklace that has a moon pendant. And this outfit here is actually a pantsuit. It's really unique. It's under this red and turquoise poncho. And, um, it ends in a pantsuit that ends in kind of a halter on top. And uh, let me see if I can show you a view from the back. Yeah, so this poncho looks like it can be removed. So I think I'm gonna try removing it at some point. Let's take a look at her beautiful shoes. These shoes defy description. They have these uh, what look like fringes on top, three layers of fringes and they end, they're very high platform shoes in a dream catcher. But look, her, her she's got hooves. She doesn't have feet, she has cloven hooves, like a deer would. So I think that's just amazing. No way a real person could wear those shoes. And she has triangular bangles on both of her wrists, and she has a very, very, very cool purse. Let's take a look. Is this a purse? It looks kind of huge. 
It's actually kind of like a hat box. There's, it's a dream catcher with three feathers and it opens, whoops, she fell. Um, see how it opens? You can actually physically put things in there and it's the same design on both sides. Dream catcher with three feathers on both sides. I actually removed her poncho to show you guys this very unique pantsuit. I really think this is unique because I've never seen this on any other doll, any other Monster High doll, see? Now, I could be wrong because I don't own every Monster High doll, but is she unique in that? Those of you who own them all, maybe you can tell me. Um, after I removed this poncho, I was kind of sorry that I did because I couldn't get it back on. The upper sleeves are very narrow, so uh, you actually have to uh, detach her hands and her bangles in order to put it back on. So I'm going to put EC Dawn Dancer on the shelf with all the other dolls without beds and rooms, and I'm going to make her one. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you like and subscribe to this channel.